good, YouTube? This your boy Tony Finesse Guy, man, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. And um, I told y'all, you know, we was gonna do videos. Hold on, let me change this because this is bothering me. There we go, so I won't be look like I'm looking down. But um, I told y'all I was gonna do videos on police brutality, and um, we got the LA Police Department, man. This was a little different. They got them a gang called the Executioners, and um, they've been going around fucking niggas up. No surprise. I'm not surprised about this, bro. Because everybody that live in L.A. know how the motherfucking police get down. You know what I'm saying? You get pulled over for bullshit. You get fucked up for bullshit. Like, you know, it's just dumb ass shit. You know what I mean? And um, I've seen a few of these videos that they done showed on this video here. And, um... Now y'all see why we say Black Lives Matter, man. They got a, a a gang. The police department got a gang just to take us out. Like, that's some motherfucking bullshit, dog. That's crazy. You know what I mean? A Nazi gang just to take black people out. Because they that afraid of us, man. That shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And um, now you see why we say Black Lives Matter. And for those who say Blue Lives Matter, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? You the motherfuckers that support this bullshit that's going on out here and don't see shit like this. So um this is what I'm here for. You know what I mean? And and World Star and shit like this. To let y'all know that what's really going on out here. You know what I mean? But we on the road to one million subscribers, man. Shout out to Heather, man, because she just subscribed. She says she fuck with the channel. She wanted me to uh react to more news and Old school music, all this and that. So, I got you. Thanks for showing the love, man. And uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because it's important to get this video out there for the world to see. You know what I mean? And um, like I always say, man, if you don't have cable TV, you can always watch me. Your boy, Tony Finesse Guy. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. News investigation. An alleged gang of sheriff's deputies within the L.A. County Sheriff's Department known as the Executioners. Their alleged tattoo depicts a skeleton in flames, an AK-47, and a Nazi-style helmet. Miriam Hernandez has a closer look at the pressure mounting on the department to open their files on any groups like this. From inside the Compton Sheriff Station, a deputy's claim filed with a county about an aggressive band of his cohorts allegedly in control. According to the claim, members are branded with a sinister logo. Which is a uh, skeleton wearing a Nazi helmet uh, with an AK-47 laughing. And go by a sinister name, the Executioners, which according to the claim does not allow African-American or female members. Deputy Art Gonzalez alleges the deputy gang is trampling on the rights of citizens and targeting him as a whistleblower. Deputy Gonzalez, um, he's he's afraid for, for his safety right now, as he should be. This is a violent gang, you know, violence, shootings, beatings. Why are y'all beating him? Claims of excessive force and much more. And the timing. As community outcry demands systemic change, allegations in the filing claim that as many as 40% of Compton deputies are inked executioners or prospects. Rumblings reaching the sheriff. Well, first of all, there is no gang of any deputies running any station right now. This matter has already been receiving very swift administrative action. We've already taken positive steps. Pressure for change is intensifying. Professor Sean Kennedy at Loyola Law School releasing a two-year study of deputy gangs, including the executioners. Often, the inking um, is attached to some kind of act of violence, including a shooting. It's the ultimate expression of your commitment to policing and your commitment to the deputy gang. The complainant, Deputy Art Gonzalez, is a former U.S. Marine decorated for his service in Iraq, Afghanistan. Here in Compton, once praised for speedy action to save a four-year-old boy shot in the head. The tipping point? Gonzalez says he witnessed a deputy executioner assaulting a fellow deputy. Gonzalez called a confidential tip line for internal affairs. To his shock, he says in his claim, the recording was intercepted. It's within 48 hours, a recording of his supposedly anonymous call was leaked to the gang at the station. He also reports that graffiti appeared at the station entrance. 
Art is a Rat. And that was placed at the keypad to get into the parking lot. So that's the most visible place in the entire station. Compton, a flashpoint for high-profile crimes. Recently, the armored SUV of rapper YG in the middle of a shootout. And an 18-year-old security guard, Andres Guardado, chased by two Compton deputies, shot five times in the back. Evidence of the secret deputy pack emerged in the wrongful death shooting case of Dante Taylor. Compton deputy Samuel Aldama forced to reveal his tattoo, saying that about 20 deputies at the Compton station have the same ink. Skeletons, which is a symbol of death. There are flames on Aldama's tattoo, uh, which symbolizes he's emerging from hell. There is an AK-47. The Taylor family attorney put up huge billboards looking for potential victims. Aldama denied the group is a gang. The county settled for $7 million. This is all taxpayers' money. So, uh, yes, the taxpayers should be very worried. Criminal defense lawyers are going to be lining up, uh, making motions for new trials. The Gonzalez claim alleges the executioners brokered a deal to amp up arrest numbers. Members of the public were stopped for minor infractions. According to the Loyola study, sheriffs over the last five decades have been unable or unwilling to dismantle the deputy gangs. And the money paid out to settle lawsuits when they are caught crossing the line. The uh, inspector general gave me a ballpark estimate based on just public information that it's at least $50 million dollars. I think in reality, it's got to be much, much more. Villanueva says he is the first sheriff to impose a policy forbidding such groups. The inspector general says today there is no evidence that the sheriff has pursued any house cleaning. The county's watchdogs want the sheriff's records on all deputy gangs and the names of all members. The sheriff says due process laws protect deputies from such disclosure. As for Gonzalez now, he wants compensation for the years he had planned to serve, but now cannot. Once you run afoul of the department and you blow the whistle on illegal conduct within the LA County Sheriff's Department, your career is over. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News. That's bullshit, man. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, dude don't get fucked over. It's clear to see that this is a gang. All these niggas got the same tattoo. Just like when a gang unit looks for other gang members, they, they look for tattoos, matching tattoos. These niggas are a gang. You know what I'm saying? And for whatever officers that killed these innocent people, all these niggas, that, that RICO act need to take a, go into effect. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas be, need to be charged with murder. All of them need to be locked away for good death penalty or life in prison. Because this is bullshit. But they're protected because they're the police and they're white. And it's bullshit. It's bullshit, man. And I'm tired of it. You know, Black Lives Matter, I'm going to keep on saying it. We need to keep on pushing the issue. Shout out to the NBA. You know what I mean? Um, everybody that's, you know, protesting and out there doing their thing. I protested out here in Reno. You know what I'm saying? For my peoples. You know what I mean? We done had a, a young black man killed and shot in Sparks. You know what I mean? So, um, it's heartbreaking, man. You know what I mean? But all we can do is pray to God for change. You know what I mean? We possibly, we, we could, we living in the last days. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy what we're going through, man. And, you know, I just hope any of my kids aren't victim to any of this. Hopefully, um, some change can be done by the time, you know, my kids get older. And it don't even matter how old they are. They're shooting babies now. You know what I mean? So now I feel like I need to have to talk with my kids about playing with toy guns and not, not even playing with toy guns because they can't because they're black. You know what I mean? And it, it, it's just crazy, man. But um, if you like the video, man, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be no hate to show love to the channel, man. Like I always say, if you don't have cable TV, you can always watch me, your boy Tony Finesca. All right, y'all, I'm out.